I believe providing for a scholarship is something so human because you're giving a part of yourself to somebody that you don't even know. The magnitude of what they're doing for girls like me is just amazing. My name's Emily Al. I'm from the class of 2024 and I love DSHA. My parents, they were born and raised in Lima, Peru. It was such a struggle because at the time there was so much terrorism. It was just horrible. They never knew what was coming next and I've been raised in the mindset that anything can change just like that. And I'm so grateful that I can have a community like DSHA that encourages my confidence. I would defend an all-girls school with my life. It's altogether a more safe environment for you to grow in your confidence, academics, basically every aspect of your life. I have been involved in field hockey, basketball, and then one year of track. I also co-run and founded a club called ASU Asian Student Union. In the classroom, I used to just shut down whenever I got a problem wrong, but now I just raise my hand knowing that I'll learn from that and my teachers will help me along the way. I'm going into neuroscience for college and then I hope to go on the pre-med track. I want to make my parents proud. I want to make them feel that what they have sacrificed has been worth it. Financial support means the world to me because without the donors and the financial aid that I have received, I would not be here. I'm Sanaya Lee, and I'm the oldest of seven. I have three of the sisters that go here. My grandma, Mrs. Blaze, has always been someone I hold dear. She's been the backbone of my family. She chose for her daughters to come here. Now that she works here and I attend school here, for my grandmother, we're keeping the legacy going. Education comes first, so I knew that DCHA would offer me things that I wouldn't get at other schools. The all-girls part is just really empowering and it adds a different, unique aspect. We're student-led. I've been involved in Sisters of Cultures since freshman year. They are just, just great leaders and I got to see them go off to co big colleges like Spelman and Madison. I was like, I want to be part of this. And then I became an officer in the council. And I got to be part of retreats and services. We donated the buses to the, our sister school in Tanzania. It made me feel so proud of campus ministry and like who we are. I hope to major in psychology and economics at a school that challenges me and provides the opportunities that DCJ does. I would just wanna say thank you. Not only did I get the scholarship aid that I needed, they made sure my sisters in the upcoming years had that as well. That really motivated us to really want to achieve and want to give back. Uh -huh. Every one of these people I still see. And your shorty short hair. <laughs> I'm Lainey Sullivan. I've always wanted to be a part of this community, and I've always known I wanted to go to DSHA. Yep, Amy I love that Lainey ended up at DSHA to share in the very personal experiences that you establish here. The staff, your teachers, friends that you make all leave a little imprint on your heart. That's what it was like for me. This was on the actual newspaper. <laughs> on the front page of the sports section. And we actually lost. We lost because I didn't have my lucky socks on. So I wanted to come to DSHA to be in athletics because that was such a big part of my mom's life. She came out such a well-balanced person. And I'm just continuously amazed by all the things that she has overcame. There are so many challenges that other people don't have to navigate, and you've done it with grace every step of the way. Thanks, babe. <laughs>
My husband, Patrick, who's disabled, um, he has a spinal cord injury, also diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. The progression of my husband's disability and disease, unfortunately, necessitated him from working any longer. The support that DSHA offers families is phenomenal. My DSHA community and the education that I've gotten here has definitely pulled me out of my shell. They just prepare you so well academically. They're giving me that foundation so I can be successful in the field that I want to pursue. I've always wanted to be a doctor. DSHA has really been able to prepare me for that. The science and math department are phenomenal here. It's so fun to see Patrick so extremely proud of the daughter that he has raised. Both he and my mom just have set a really good example for me. One of my favorite parts of DSHA is the service work that we do. Faith just envelops everything that we do here. I think if my husband had the opportunity to share what he felt about the opportunity that Lainey has been afforded, it would bring tears to his eyes. Because it's not something that we could have done for her. It is a gift.